What's up, guys? Just get here, Gannon's Army. How y'all doing? All right, so some big stuff happened this week. Well, number one, Dan Housen, the very nice, very evil man, is on AEW. He's all elite, baby. That's right, Dan Housen. Look at that. We got the Dan Housen shirt here. No cursing or no no swearing or be cursed. So we got Dan Housen shirt. Hey, Dan Housen showed up. Looks like he uh, he kind of gave me a little. A little curse to uh, Adam Cole, and Cole lost in the uh, unsanctioned match to Orange Cassidy. How awesome was that? So I mean, like honestly, it wasn't very, it wasn't very awesome. Dan Housen showed up, awesome. Adam Cole losing Orange Cassidy, not very awesome. Like I honestly, I I don't know about that one, man. Like seriously, you have Adam Cole who's in the top faction in NXT losing to as Jim Cornette would say pocket my little dog pockets <sighs> so bad so bad anyway Dan Housen though how freaking awesome was that uh, you know I've been, I've been talking about on the internet I think Dan Housen just needs to show up with different spots just go talk to people like oh he definitely needs to show up at Brickmaker's office and be like, be like hey, hey uh, be like, uh, I need some teeth yeah, right? Like, something like that. I don't know. Of course, show, you know, him uh, going out there with the ass boys. You know, I'd like to see him uh, show up with Darby and uh, Sting. They're like, like, face paint, you know what I'm saying? Something like that would be awesome. Whatever. Anyway, so, that's pretty sweet, right? Now, the other good thing is, look at this. It's, it is open, but I got a case of... Bats. Here we go. One, two. We got three bats. Actually, that makes my fifth bat. And I got one, two, plus that other one I got. That makes me three alley vipers. And then I got gun ho. So I got this case. I had it pre ordered off of uh, Entertainment Earth. They finally showed up, which is freaking awesome. I can't wait to get that. I showed up, you know, the house, and it was all sitting there. I was like, oh, my, my stuff's fly showed up, right? So, yeah, you know how excited you are. I don't know about you guys. I love getting mail. Um, so, when I got the, I saw this in the mail, uh, I, I was ecstatic, right? So, got my bats, got my olive vipers, which we'll, uh, we'll see if we get some pictures later in the week with that. Because, uh, got some stuff going on, but... Today, this video is going to be a little shorter one. What we're going to do is, we're going to open up Gun Ho. We're going to compare him with the version 1 Gun Ho, which honestly, just looking at right here. Honestly, I'm not, not going to open this up. I'm not going to open it up because as I look at it, it's the same figure. I mean,. There's not even, there's not even a change of, there's not even a change of gear. There, there, there's nothing here that is a change from what we've got before. I mean, let me put this hat on, oh, shoot, drop that. Let me pick that up, where'd it go? Well, drop that, we'll, uh, I'll find out here in a few minutes. I'll fight here in a few minutes, but honestly, it's it's not even a change. There's no color differences. The weapons are still the same here. Uh, the, like I said, the weapons are still the same. Backpack still the same. Everything's the same. So I don't understand why they're going to repackage you, send you back out. When you've already got this one. Now, maybe if you haven't got this one, then yeah, it's time to pick this one up, right? But I don't understand why they're just going to resend this out. It's just, just weird. It's really weird, right? I mean, I don't know. Hasbro is... I don't know, man. Especially this G.I. Joe line. They're big. Um, you guys are like, what are you guys looking, looking for? Look for that. Oh, here it is. Found the hat. Let me put it back on and grab it. Boom. 
Ooh. There it is. His hat's back on. Ooh. So basically, it's the same figure. I don't know why they're going to. I don't know. I don't know why they're repackaging this in that, in that, in that bat. Just weird. Anyway, let's, let's skip on the set nails real quick. So, Target. I, uh, you know, I got, I got two Python bats. I got two, uh, because you know, you're only have, uh, what is it, the, uh, Python Vipers. I got two of those on order. Well, my friend had, I, I gave her a hundred bucks. She ordered two and two, and my other friend ordered two and two. But I hate how they do their pre-orders where they try to take the money out every freaking month. It's like, listen, man, don't take that money out. Try to take the money out until it's time for you to deliver your package. Every month on my bill comes up. Um, I got a couple of the uh, Marvel Legend, Doctor Strange, and the, uh, I think, um, uh, Thor. And then, of course, I got my Joe orders. Why are you trying to take it out every month? I mean, I don't understand why. Target is probably one of the most difficult places to order, do pre-orders or anything else. I don't understand that. Everywhere else, Big Bad, Entertainment Earth, Dorkside, all those places, they won't take your money out till it actually is time to ship. Hasbro Pulse, that's another one. They won't take your money out until it's time to ship, but yet Target, and then what they do is, when it's not there... And that the uh, five months before, six months before, seven months before, they'll cancel your order, which is bull. It's total bull. So I don't understand why they do that for. I mean, Target is probably as Target is probably the worst, absolute worst place for Hasbro to do business with when it comes to exclusives and pre-orders. I don't understand it. Anyway, this whole pre-order thing, anyway, is just like. Man, uh, here I am. Okay, so you know, we'll go back to Entertainment Earth. You know what I mean? Which is awesome. I got the, I got my stuff. Like I wanted to. You know, I got my case. But I also ordered two extra bats. Okay. I get the case, but I don't get the two extra bats. They're not until July. If you got the orders in, why aren't you sending them out? You know what I mean? It's just the entire uh, pre-order thing. It's just weird how it sets everything up. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, so it's weird. I'll tell you what, let me see if I can find something for me to, uh, unbox. I have a, I have a case, I have some stuff over here. I have it unboxed, uh, so let me see what, let me see what I can find. And, uh, we'll get, we'll get with that one, because like I said, I, I thought I was going to unbox this, this uh, Gung Ho. It's going to be a whole video, but, again, man, I got him already. I don't, I don't need to unbox another one, right? So, let me, let me see what I got. Give me, give me a minute, all right? Hold on one. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. So, I do have a box over here of uh, stuff I haven't unboxed. There's a couple of, uh, here's the Cobra Infantry, which you all seen that. We got a uh, Hand Ninja. We've seen it. We got a, uh, what is that, Vault Guardsman. We got a couple of Imperial Troopers. We got a uh, Geralt Witcher. But here's one. Here's ones we haven't unboxed. We have uh, actually we have the armor and Sabine Rian. So I'll tell you what, let's unbox these, right? So let's unbox them. Here we go. We got the knife out. Let's pop this open. Boom. So we got Sabine first. She's really cool. You guys watched um, uh, what is that? Rebels, right? Yeah, Rebels. So, she's pretty cool. She's a Mandalorian. She takes her helmet off a lot. She likes to paint. She's an artist. You know, I'm going to actually show you the box. Basically, the box is here. I mean, there's not really a whole lot on this box. It says, uh, Sabine Rebels, a Mandalorian warrior, explosive expert, and talented graffiti artist. Quite came in handy as one of the first rebel against the Empire. Okay. So, there's not a whole lot, you know, with her. She's kind of like the other ones. Boom. So let's see what we got. We got her. Oops, pop her out. All right. She kind of kind of got the graffiti on her armor, which is kind of cool. You know, like a wolf, a tiger sticking out. 
The armor is pretty nice. I do like the armor on her. I like the paint job. The paint job is pretty sweet. If you guys are, you know, keep the paint job there. Then we got her helmet. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Okay, like, like the other ones, the helmet, the eyepiece goes down. Right? Like a little targeting. Oh, man. Ah, okay. Okay, try to put that on her. Ugh. All right, all right, it's kind of, kind of got a, it's kind of like, it's hard to put on her, put the helmet on her. Ah, let's get her out of there. Okay. That's a little hard, but okay, that's all right. And then she's got, ooh, about lost that. She's got a, uh, I guess that's a detonator. She can, uh, you know, use the detonator, you know, you put some explosive down. And of course, like, Costco Reeves and Bo Katan. She's got a couple pistols. Comes with some pistols. Yeah, she's got the uh, holsters to holster them. So yeah, it's a cool figure. I mean, especially if you like, if you like, you like that, you like Rebels. Yeah, it's pretty cool. She's a cool figure. Again, I like the armor. You know, she doesn't. She doesn't have that. Good way, uh, there you go. A little bend, a little, a little twisty on the way on the waist, but other than that, not a bad figure at all. She's pretty cool. I like her hair, it's purple. See, I, I like her, man. It's just a cool figure. You know, you gotta get warm that hat there to kind of warm her helmet to get a fit on her head a little bit more, but other than that, there we go. There we go. Boom. No, oh, Sabine Ring. That's she's a cool figure. I like this one. I like this one. You know, I I watched Rambles and you know, honestly, like Ezra was like, ah, oh, he's kind of a nerd, man. I didn't really like him a whole lot. And then he, so he kinda grew on me. I liked her from the start. She's pretty cool. I mean, it's another I'm trying to get the helmet off. It's another uh, part of Star Wars, which I mean is it's cool, but I guess like yeah, I I'm not, it's not my favorite thing of Star Wars. What was the other, there was another one, um, The Resistance, right? With like, you know, like the kids in the, uh, on the, like the docking station, that was kind of stupid. But, I did like Rebels, once it got going, it was pretty cool, you got Asuka and Ahsoka there, that was cool. So yeah, I like this one, I like her. Sabine Wren, boom. So the other figure we got here is the armor. Okay, she's already halfway open anyway. The box is broke. Okay, anyway, the armor. The armor plays a vital role in keeping the culture of Mandalorians alive. She forges best her armor in the ancient tradition of her people. So there's the armor. There she is on that side. That's pretty much all you got. Now this one is not the deluxe one, which the deluxe one's pretty cool. You have all kinds of cool stuff with her. This one, you just get Okay, so you get the armor. Here she is. I'll put myself. Now the head doesn't come off. The helmet doesn't come off because we, of course, we didn't see her face in the, in the movie, in the show because, of course, you know that wasn't the way. And then she has kind of like the fur back hair. So yeah, like, the armor is pretty cool. You know, she didn't do a whole lot in the in the show. She was the one that made the armor for for um, you know. The Mandalorian. So she's not gonna do, you know, she's not gonna come to a whole lot of stuff. I'm gonna put this back on there. Make it actually fit. Oh, there he is. All right, cool. And then, of course, here's her, her tongs that she uses to pick the Beskar up, Beskar up. Then the hammer she uses to, you know, forge stuff with, right? So. That's cool. It's uh, you know, it's it's pretty neat. Um, you know, she's another Mandalorian, so we got her, we got Sabine, we got Costco, we got um, Bogatan, of course, the Mandalorian. Uh, of course, Boba Fett, not a Mandalorian, but he has Mandalorian armor. And then later on, we'll uh, yeah, at some point, we'll be getting um, 
Oh my god, this is Cobb, Cobb Vance, which, uh, you know, cool again, not a Mandalorian, but has Boba Fett's old armor, which is Mandalorian armor. So, that's one thing we'll have um, coming up you know, at some point you know, when the pre orders come in. But yeah, so there, that was uh, the armor right there, right? short video this week um you know i thought we were gonna have a little more of course like i said gun ho did not turn out to be what i thought it was gonna be so we got kind of play it by ear on the on the videos um uh good thing i had a couple things laying around um we'll see if we can find some pick get some pictures this week of uh the bats and the alley vipers see how that works out for us um yeah i mean i other than that, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot, a whole lot this week. It's a, you know, it's me a shit. You guys are like, oh man. Of course, I've had like a couple thirty minute videos. So this will be a short video, but you know, sometimes you need some short ones, right? So, Lexi, you got anything to say? No, not really. Uh, it, it, yeah, not really. Not a whole lot to say today. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for that input. Yeah, Lexi, some of you know, she doesn't really have a lot to say. Um. But hey, man, if you guys find something out there, let me know, right? We're all in this toy hunt together. Um, you know, hey man, share, hey, comment, share, like, man, tell me all, tell me what you guys have found. What have you guys found out there? You know, uh, I haven't really found anything in the past few days. That's something, you know, whatever. Oh, uh, you know, some days you got, some weeks you got those hit, you got those misses, complete misses, there ain't nothing out there. Some days you find a bunch of stuff, right? I haven't, really, I haven't really been out this week to find a whole lot. But when I went out, I haven't really found nothing. So, I got the KC in. We some more pre-orders. Man, I got a lot of pre-orders coming up this year. So, I hope we get those out. Hope to uh, get some hope we get some pictures this week. We'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, there's some stuff going on, but we'll see what we can do. Maybe even if I just uh, don't video it, just you know, show some... Uh, might have to do some uh, iPhone photography with this, right? So, that's all right. I'll figure out something, okay? But, you guys, have a great week. Have a good day. You're dismissed.